but yeah, uh, both both Scorpios, Swordfighter and uh, Robin should be up to the task. Um, I feel like he has a pretty good record over both Lucky and Lope. Yeah. Well, I mean, he has a good record over most everyone in Minnesota here. So. Yeah. And I assume maybe the uh, the first two of quarters that we saw are going to go up against each other, and then the latter two. Do you have, do we have the bracket here, Brian? The bracket. I'm just curious what the yeah. winner semis will be. So it'll be yep Yeti Comet, and then I'm sorry. No no no. Winner of this plays strike. Oh okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. Okay, here we go. Yeah, starting with the Robin. Woo! Okay. That down me. Yeah, uh, just right away poking at you, and... Oh, okay. Lucky starting this game off really strong with a 70% lead. However... Scorpio at a percent that is not to be reckoned with. Okay, and Nair. Okay, Goron coming in and doing some shield damage, but not enough to make Lucky really fret there. Okay, and then, oh, okay, I like the attempt. And Plant will be making that back with the roll on. So, we are seeing a complete reversal from how the game started out there. We're now, Scorpio is getting all the corner pressure. And. Harry using projectiles, however, to aid his way back onto the stage is Scorpio. And yeah, back air. That back air is so strong. Okay, and Patui. Robin there stuck in shield and the sour oh. hit of down air. And he lost Over. his Elwin with that one. Oh, gotcha. Yep. So as soon as he got hit, he was dead. Right, Ooh, that extra damage see, from the Poison Cloud. We will see some combos. We will see Fatui and... Yeah. 61. So far, game more or less looking to be in Lucky's favor. And, yeah, he spit out that Fatui, which actually, had he known that he was getting a grab there, I'm sure he just would have let it fall on Scorpio. And we are in... Extreme disadvantage out on the right side of the stage here. There was a lot of noise coming from both the Poison Cloud and the Earth Fire when they're on each other for some yep. reason. Very interesting. Um, okay, and we have Earth Fire at the ledge once again. Too far that time though. Yeah, this However, is a, a really tough situation to be in when he's ready to just Earth Fire that ledge over and over again. So one thing that I see like a, oh. a problem Plant has is that his up B it's so wide that you'll just get hit by Earthfire when trying to maneuver back yeah. to the ledge. It actually saved him from getting hit by Thoron, but... Oh, that Nair. Yeah, coming in. Okay. And Fatui will take stock number two of Scorpio. Scorpio clearly unhappy about that. And now the percentage will be adding up here. And this is the grab. Lucky throwing out some smash attacks. Okay, and we should see Arkfire at the ledge here. Yep, going a little bit too far. And our trucker doing some shield damage. However, Lucky very content to just kind of sit back, take some stray hits when he can get them, and in the meantime, just avoid all of these aerials. Ooh, good yeah. job using the armor from the down there. Okay, and we got Poison Cloud to kind of cover himself. It's one of those things where, like, Poison Cloud is a great just cover tool because your opponent's not going to want to be standing right in that spot there. Yeah. It's not really going to... It's just going to add a lot of damage to this thing. Okay. And Rapid Jab. Yeah, attacking on that Scorpio let go of shield. Okay. Smart knowing that he would not be able to punish right Ooh. off. That and jab. we're at 127. And things are really not looking good for Scorpio right now. Because a couple more hits and he will be an up throw percentage. Yeah, and Patui might just kill if he's I, far I think enough so. To play. Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh, very smart though, bringing himself definitely out of kill percent. Finally getting the parry punish on that back air. 
I think he was having a hard time dealing with how much parry stun there was. Once again, oh, and he has grabbed this within 60% now. He was at one point at 120. So that yeah. is, those were two big, Ooh. huge Nosferatu's. Yeah. He's making Nosferatu look like a good move. <laughs> yeah, well, here's the thing, it is a great move <laughs> if you can pull it off. Yeah, and he oh. just can put that F smash. Yeah, going we'll catch to a neutral get up. up. Yeah. Yeah, well, and he forced that neutral get up with the Patui out there. Um, roll, it's one of those things where, as a player, you don't want to roll on because it can be such a bad option. Yeah. And if your opponent is prepared for it, you're, you're toast. However, I do not actually think that Lucky was prepared for in that situation. I think he completely committed to the neutral get up, but it was because he knew that uh, Corbett would do it. And I mean, he had such a lead that getting hit once in return for that, uh, if he missed, wasn't a big threat to him. So, willing to take that risk. Okay. So, all right. And yeah, he was close enough there where Lucky was stuck in shield. He could run in and get a grab. However, I feel like did Robin just like straight up lose grab combos in this game? Uh, I feel like he hasn't really gotten anything off of his I don't down think, throw. I don't think he has like pretty much anything. Okay. Uh, I think down throw upper is true like at really low percents. Okay. But yeah, he and lost his wow. checkmate. Oh, armoring through the arc fire. Okay. And coming in with that back air. Ooh. Spot dodge. Okay, we got up tilts. Plan is just such a goofy character. Reading that spot dodge. Okay. And once again, just putting out that Patui to force the neutral get up. And then punishing with smash attack. And it looks like Lucky was prepared for a roll that time. And we got some. Left sword aerials there, and that's for a forward smash. We'll get grabs for that, however. Woo! Lucky is playing really patiently, and he's not getting hit by, like, oh, the attempt with the two. Yeah, I did not make it on stage, however. So it was not a threat whatsoever to Scorpio. Okay. But getting that Levin sword right when he needed it. Yeah. Sign of a true Robin main. He knew. Oh, yeah, and the down hit of that, uh, or back hit of that down smash actually connecting. However, not going to be the strongest hit. Okay, and oh, surprised that he's getting away with, oh, okay. That back hit. <laughs> right? Set him not where he thought he'd be going. Okay, and we got hooks coming down. We got pressure. Yeah. One thing that Lucky's doing in this set that he doesn't usually do is he is really just committing to holding the corner when uh, Scorpio is trying to corner pressure. He says, yeah, I'm not going to try to force my way out. I'll just sit here until you force me to leave. And but very surprising, actually, that he did not get hit by the... Oh, I was expecting to roll there, I guess. Wanted to look like a god. Yeah. Okay, interesting. But Patui did not work quite the way he wanted it to. Ooh, okay. And now Scorpio has, he has just really tore his way back into this set here. Ooh. Okay, I was thinking we were maybe gonna see a, we're gonna see some percent, yep, we're gonna see some percent gain back through Nosferatu. And these Nosferatu's have really been- Oh my god, the item play from these two. Uh, we're on the ledge, and once again, the back hit of that down smash. And I think Lucky might be content to take it because he knows it's not going to kill him. Yeah. So that down smash is super good because if he times it right, it hits your jump too. So rolling there is Woo! like the safe way out. Right. Okay, and so now all of a sudden, we're at Scorpio lost the last game. We have a three to one stock advantage. And, okay. I thought we might see him. Yeah, yeah he's looking, he's, he's, he's looking to get some percent back. I don't blame him. I mean, if you can hold on to that stock, right? Plant seems to have a hard time killing. Um, yeah, anything besides a, a straight projectile or 
you know, straight up throw. match attack. Yeah. Yeah, there's that up throw that will eventually do it there. Okay. The, oh, okay, actually with the upper Ooh. is there. Nice. That was a classy looking combo. Coming from a plant. Coming from the foliage. Okay, we got poison clouds. We got thunder. And that poison cloud is a great way to hide that down B. However, that's a trick you can really only pull out once or twice because your opponent should get wise to it after a couple times there. Ooh, Ooh really nice smart deep. drift. I thought he was going to be drifting all the way back to you. Yeah. Roll on. That's Woo! Yeah. Dang. That up smash. Scorpio really turning things around there. I'm always three steps ahead. Always three steps ahead. Scorpio looks like he absolutely was that game. So I know Loki has a couple different characters he might play. I feel like I've seen him go like strictly plant though for a while now, right? Yeah. He has a K rule and he has yeah. a Daisy, but I think he just wants to stay plant if he can. Right. I, I K rule I would not trust at all in this matchup. It's too big, too large. Yeah, and even with the reflector on his down B, like it's not it's not gonna change. Oh, so, it's not gonna be a huge difference maker. Yep. All right. We are at game number three. We are tied up 1-1. One, one. We have Kalos. We have color counterfeit. Seeing that directional air dodge down so we can get the jabs. And, ooh, one of the gentlemen that time. Pressuring when they're on stage. Ooh, and air dodging down once again. Okay. Very good parry to the four tilt there. And air dodging to get around Arc Thunder. And he probably picked the stage because he's going to have some interesting recovery options with the platforms being there for sure. I feel like it helps with Arc Fire against the ledge. Yeah. You can just recover a little bit higher to those platforms. We'll see if that works out for him. Okay. And this is a tech that's hit by the Elf Thunder. Dude, and that up smash. smash. Yeah. And. Ew! Yeah. No, and I don't think he wanted to roll there. He was probably just holding that way to. Sometimes these are just the mistakes that you really yeah. take yourself for. And we'll see if Rob, uh, Robin will gain back any percent with Mount Karatu. That's something that we saw last game that was a huge difference maker. Ooh, and yeah. Perry once again gets the F kill here. One thing that I really like how Lucky does it is he'll mix in crouches with down bees. So when he gets into that like little potted position, oh, you never yeah, yeah. know what he's going to do. Right. He might just he might just pop out of it, or yeah. he might be yeah. The, the animations are slightly different, but when you're playing, no. it's so hard to tell. Yeah, sometimes. definitely. It also redu uh, reduces his hurt box a lot. Sure. Yeah, it becomes a small boy then. Yep, that's oh! what the tech. We got tech boys. Okay. And uh, very, oh, okay, oh! there it is. Wait, what? No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay, we see you over there, Lucky. Yeah, we see you. Extra McExtra. Yeah, imagine F smashing. <laughs> <laughs> And the back air. And he caught Levin Sword, oh. throws it at him, and very content to just stay where he's at. Will we see it? Okay. Landing, I really like that landing Thorn option. I feel like it covered more options than just standing Thorn would have. Yeah, I think it covered the jump also. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so Lucky is just going to try to get as much collateral Woo! as he can. Just try to get that chip damage in so that. When he, when he has his opening, he can kill. Oh, man, and that almost killed incredibly early. Ooh, yeah, okay. so one thing Lucky's been doing a lot recently is that uh, down B really low and try to armor through their recovery. Oh, air dodging to catch the book. For the, is that 11 sword? Yeah, 11 oh, sword. Yeah, yeah, he had it. Yeah. I think he tried to hit the arc fire on the way up um, because if you hit arc fire when it's coming down. 
um, you'll just break it instead of it activating. But he just got hit by it instead. The uh, the rapid jab takes so much of your of your green book. Yeah. Now that we have like a visual representation of like what status the books are at. Okay. Playing patient here. Okay. Yeah. We got the back throw. Yeah. That eleven back air. It has so much parry stun that Lucky is just messing up his uh, dashboard uh, grabs off of it just because of how much stun he's putting in his right. And we got plenty of elf Thunder for ya. Okay, and Scorpio is refusing to die, refusing to get hit by any projectiles here. Does accidentally, I believe, roll into the down beat. Ooh, yeah, okay. that's the Patooie classic. Still, however, at 171. Looking okay. And yeah, that up throw will up throw. easily kill. However, Lucky sitting at 92 needs to watch himself here. Ooh, yeah, not quite going to kill Plant. Uh, one of the top six heaviest characters in this game. And especially on Kalos with its large top yeah. lasso. Woo! And shield pressure, not going to be enough though, however, to break. Therefore, Lucky gets off scot free, and I'm sure that shield has regenerated by now, too. So, Scorpio does need to watch himself. He gets caught in a bad spot. Ooh, that or parry is so, so good. <laughs> yeah, Plant has so many different ways to stall and then harass from off stage. And his back throw, I think at the ledge, it's, gonna, you know, at the ledge it's definitely going to kill now. It probably would have before, too, but... Oh, that F smash might have. And just the empty hop. Oh, and now it's definitely damage gonna kill. out there. That's yeah. going to kill them. Yep. 11 sword aerials will do the trick. They scoop up super well. And they kill, so. Hitboxes for days. Yeah, you got to be careful. Girl got a hitbox on her. <laughs> And Lucky sorting out his life, trying to figure out what to do. Just really, it seems like just too good of adaptation from Scorpio for Lucky to figure I mean, right now, definitely lots of things going through his mind. First off, he's taking a good long stare at the stage list, trying to figure out where they're supposed to go, or where's going to be a good place for, for him to take Rob, Robin. Okay, and we are going to see the same matchup that we have seen the first three games of the set here. Uh, a color change once again from Lucky. We're going back to PS2. <laughs> and just running in with a dash attack. Okay. Up there, oh, up that damn there. Yep, very good. 45%. So far unanswered. Okay. And yeah, that's a, a trade buck you'll take for sure. Yeah, and Lucky, I mean, he has the lead right now, so he's playing very patient, very willing to kind of sit around and try to maneuver around these projectiles. However, if he's unsuccessful, all of a sudden he's going to find himself back at a deficit, which he now currently sits. Yeah, this is a really weird situation to be in. Oh, that lasted a little bit longer than Lucky expected. Ooh, not having that Levin sword. Okay. Oh! Oh! That yeah, very SD. unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Oh my god. Scorpio taking 40% from the poison cloud. Ooh. But, alright, he's gonna be able to take that stock. Yep, and then don't forget that Nosferatu is always an option that's on the table. Any sort of deficit that he has can always be made back up. Okay. The two he wants to get. Yep, there's and there the it is. Got forward air back on a stage. Oh, and still trying to gain back some percent. 
support air. And dropping shield on the arc fire. Either that or poking, but. Yeah, Plant's gonna be uh, be able to make it back. Yeah, as long as he as long as he's like not down low enough where the blasto kills him, I think he's gonna be able to make it back. Oh, uh, speaking of blasto killing him down there, yeah, <laughs> not I don't know what happened there. I think that was an air dodge or something. But yeah. he's able to take that stock. Yeah, and he's got to be feeling good when you're on your winner's bracket stock and you even up a game after an SD. Always a great feeling. Yeah. All the damage. However, Lucky typically getting a bit more percent than just 18 off of. Oh! Very good with the F tilt there. Or er, down tilt? Yeah, down tilt, I think. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah, yep. Yeah. F tilt is chompy one. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. For some reason, I thought of his uh, F tilt as like Ivy Sword. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. Woo! He just waited. Oh, getting an F smash of his own. Not quite okay. able to. Reading that jump. And Ooh, yeah, that's that's back some percent. Percent boys. Lucky in a good spot right now though. Well with the edge and no way to deal with that. I mean did not find an answer for oh, air dodge too legendary. That back air. Okay. I think Lucky's content with getting knocked off the ledge like that if it means he's not. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. catching that roll. Beautiful thing coming out from Scorpio there. 3-1 to Scorpio. Yep, just really at the end there. I mean, we a couple things with that set. A lot of percent came back with Nosferatu. Um, and then Scorpio just finding a way to limit the different options that Lucky had to try to basically get back to a, a spot where he'd be able to avoid projectiles. Yeah. Oh, uh, we're right. okay. okay. Um, so we will have Burzas coming on for commentary, and along Jackie with Jackie Peanuts. Peanuts. Yeah, you so guys are in for a real treat. So yeah, uh, I'm Metal for Fish. I'm Jay Strudel. We'll see you later. I'm Erdy Whenever. Oh, hey, what's up? I'm Jackie Peanuts. I'm Burzes. And we are here to bring you top eight here at Paper Cut. Uh, there's a lot of stuff going on, and I don't really know what.